All right, so part four of our solving equations in terms of small little hints and tricks. Now I want to show you what happens and how do you get rid of brackets because sometimes you do have brackets in an equation. So I have uh, written out an equation here and we have these brackets. So what do you do? Well, in order to get rid of brackets, you always will have to try to factor out okay, the whole entire bracket and let me just show you how to do that it's uh, nothing extraordinary okay but do remember that you have to always uh, multiply through the entire bracket okay so if we begin here i have a variable actually on the left hand side which is m and on the right hand side again it's m and now in order to do anything if you were solving this I like to simply just get rid of brackets first entirely. So for instance, I have this negative three, which I will bring inside of the bracket and I will multiply by each term. Now I actually have two terms here. So don't forget that you will have to multiply two times. So negative three times the two is negative six M and negative three times the seven is negative 21. So that gets rid of this bracket on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So notice the negative eight, so that's just negative eight. But now we have this negative and always remember, you know, the bracket means multiply and you do have a one in front even though it's not written. So we have to distribute the negative one across both of the terms. So we have two terms. Remember terms are separated by a plus or a minus here. So I have negative four because negative one times four and then negative three M. Okay, so now you have gotten rid of brackets. Okay, so that's what we do. Now, of course, we can finish this and what you will find, now we can collect like terms. All right, so where are all my like terms? So first of all, you have to find all your terms with your variable as I did one of the videos okay that you have okay in this part series so here is one here is the other okay and then I like to collect all my numbers okay and then I'll put all the numbers on one side and all the variables okay on the other so this is going to shift over in this direction okay so that leaves me with so negative 6m so that stays right here remember that the sign will change as you shift over on the opposite so this is 3m equals so those are my terms with the variable and now the terms that just have numbers so I'm going to just rewrite here so these are these ones that will stay and I will shift over this one on the opposite side okay so here once again Notice the sign will change. And now I can go ahead and collect these. So collecting these like terms, so negative six plus three is negative three M equals, and now I have, so negative eight minus four is negative 12, okay? And then plus 21, okay? So now you can do that. And if you can't do it in your head, you can always okay, just do it on the side or use a calculator for yourself. So that's going to be nine. Okay. All right. So now what do we do? Well, now the final step is, of course, we want to solve this for M. So I will divide both sides by negative three. Okay. And I will get M. So this negative three cancels. And here I'm going to get actually negative three. So this turns out to work out very well. Okay, but the key point of this video is what do you do with brackets? Well, you just factor them out. So here is another arbitrary one, okay, that we can do and I'll throw in some decimals. It doesn't matter what it is, decimals, fractions, whatever, okay, it may be. So let's say if I have something, you know, crazy, okay, of this kind, so I'll put R as my variable, okay, and then maybe there's multiple brackets here, I'm 
All right, so what if we have something like this? So first, I'm not going to solve this entire thing, but the key point is brackets. Let's get rid of them. So I will take, so first, multiply, don't forget, you have two terms. If you had three terms, you would have to multiply three times. So that's what we have to do first. Okay, so I'll take out the calculator. So we have negative 2.1 multiplied by 1.7, and we get negative 3.57R. Okay, so the R just stays. The negative and the negative actually is going to be positive. So this is going to be positive, and it is so 2.1 times our 4 is 8.4, okay, so that's my first bracket, okay, and now my second bracket, if we do that, so here, we're going to do 1.5 times R, all right, so if we shift that over, well, it's going to be 1.5 R, and then it's going to be 1.5 times 4.2, notice it's negative, Okay, so again, I can take my calculator, so I'll have 1.5 times 4.2, so that's 6.3, and then there's nothing to do on the right-hand side, there's no brackets or anything, so we can do that. And notice now you have, okay, gotten rid of all your brackets. So now the game again is you want to collect like terms, Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole thing, but here is one term with the R. Here is the second term with the R. So these ones will stay on this side. And then your other terms okay, that do not have your variable, these you would have to shift over on the opposite side okay, before you do anything. And then you can collect like terms and then solve. So that's it for this video. All I wanted to show you is how to get rid of brackets and this is how you do it. Just remember to always multiply through every single term. Thank you for watching. Okay, remember, help one and inspire a million. See you at the one million journey.